Hi everyone! So, as many of you already know, I'm a really big fan of this DAW called Reaper. And I've been noticing that a lot of people in the BGN community uses Reaper. And also in general, it has become really popular lately. So let me blow your mind with the first thing that I'm gonna show you today. Well, maybe just... just whatever. Let's just do it. So this is one of my favorite things that you can do in Reaper. You can instantly insert any chord and any arpeggio in any shape or form in just one click. Which is... cool, I guess. First, I'm gonna show you a little demo of how it works, and then I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up. So, we are in a very simple project. We have two tracks, one for arpeggios and one for chords. Both are loaded with a synth. So, let's start off with doing the chord progression. So, let's say that we want a C major chord. We just need to find the C note, which should be right here. Then, we're gonna right click, and this list shows up. And you can put insert chord, and you can have major, dominant, diminish, all of these type of chords. And then you select major, because it's just simplicity. And then, there you go, C, E, G. It's just as easy as that. Let's say the later we want... Uh, and once we have all of these chords, we can just play and see how it sounds. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna work for the... Demo. One thing to keep in mind is that the chord length is going to be based on your grid value. Right now I have a grid value of one bar, so every time I put a chord it's going to be one bar long. If I change it for example to 16 notes, we can we can see that it's going to make the chord just a 16 note value that you can see here. Once that's done, we can start now with our pages. Oh, one cool thing is that if you have the track list here, um, you can press the little eye icon and you can see the chords that you are doing in the other tracks. So it's easier to follow. Let's say we want a C major arpeggio. We can click here, just like the other example, and right click, and this time we're gonna insert arpeggio. And then the first one that it shows here, you can do all of this, which is really cool. Let me just go for something simple. And we're gonna have a C major arpeggio right now. Boom! In just one click. You can duplicate it and follow doing the same thing for the others. So once you have all your pages done, it's time to just play it. beautiful and then you know how you can make this even better if you add some GCS drum loops to it <laughs> alright that's that's very bad <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you how to set this up so the first thing that you need to do is go into this website that you can find in the description below and then just simply click donut then once you download, you should have a zip file, including two files. Open up Reaper, and in the options menu, you can find the show Reaper resource pad. And then we're gonna move these two files into the key map folder. Then in Reaper, we go to the options menu again, and click on customize menus and toolbars. Then once you got that selected, you're gonna press import, and we should go to the folder where we put the files on. We can find the course Reaper menu um, file, and then just press open. Once you got all of this here, you're gonna press close and go to the actions menu and press show actions list. In this window, you're gonna click on this list and select MIDI editor. Then you're gonna press import, import again, and go to the same folder and choose the chord key map file. And there you got all of the actions. Then we can test if it's working. We can make a track, um, make a MIDI file, double click, and right click on any of the notes and there you go. You got all of the scales, all of the chords and all of their pages that you can do in just one click. And then we can just test and do a diminished arpeggio and there you go. It's working. <laughs> so I really hope you like this video. And if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, I'll, I'll reply to you within one minute, I swear. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.